Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you must be wondering why do I have this filthy piece of cloth right in my hand? Now, um, I would have actually flushed it down the toilet had the toilet been right here, but we don't have a toilet and I normally flush it down the toilet, so um, I will keep it on to this. But have you ever actually wondered why or what problems could these piece of filthy clothes actually arise? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that. So once the wastewater goes out of your home, it goes to the lifting station where the pumps are there to pump it and discharge it to the treatment water plant. However, if you have so many pieces of clothes right into your wastewater, our little pumps could be a bit helpless. Since when these huge amount of clothes actually are in the wastewater, they go into the pump, and in, within the impeller, they actually clog the impeller so heavily that your impeller stops functioning and this could cause damage to the pump. So, what should we do? Should we stop flushing these clothes down the toilet? Well, that's pretty hard because there are always a bunch of ignorance right there, just like me, who would keep on doing something like this. So we have to do something with the pump. Now, there are a lot of other factors that are considered for the transportation of wastewater such as the diameter of the impeller in the pump, the amount of clothes that gets clocked into the impeller of the pump, the amount of clothes pumped by the impeller, or a lot of uh, the amount of, or the degree of contamination in the wastewater. This is just like if you need to pass an exam with optimum numbers, you do not need only good preparation. You also need to be capable to handle exam pressure and stress you also need to be capable and have a good set of mind, and you also need to have a good exam atmosphere. So, my team and I came up with this mathematical equation that could take into uh, account all the factors that, are, uh, that need to be considered for the transportation of wastewater. So, the factors that we will consider are the ones such as how many clothes are there in the wastewater, so how many filthy pieces of clothes are in the wastewater, how many do you have, uh, how, much, how many clothes are pumped by the pump? How much time does the pump require to transport these filthy pieces of clothes? These factors, when combined, could help you to calculate functional efficiency index. And this functional efficiency index, when optimum, could help you and could help our pump to transport all these filthy pieces of clothes. So, my ladies and gentlemen, once you have a 100% functional efficiency index, you will be able to flush those clothes without any regrets. Thank you. <laughs>